क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वेरियस रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द करंट आई सी आई बी एंड आई ई अल्फा एंड बीटा एंड देयर रिलेशनशिप एंड सो ऑन नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल लर्न द बेसिक इनपुट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड आउटपुट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ बी जे टी विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू लर्न फ्यू मोर कंसेप्ट रिलेटेड टू बी जे टी Here, coming to the point of input characteristics, we have drawn the graph of V I B with respect to V B E. Here, I am considering the fact that I am using the configuration which is giving I B as input and V B E as your input voltage and current respectively. So I can say that this I B is nothing but input current. and your vbe is your input voltage the relationship between input voltage and input current is exponential in the such a way that at particular voltage i am getting no current till particular voltage i am getting no current and after this particular voltage i am getting the current which is moving in a exponential manner so i can say that this is nothing but your threshold voltage which is nothing but your diode voltage right if you are generally taking the silicon bipolar junction transistor then obviously here the value of this is your 0.7 don't confused with the fact that this is the threshold voltage i'll make it in this way otherwise you will get confused with the thermal voltage which is nothing but 25.8 millivolts constant for normal temperature so this is the graph of your input characteristics you here you have to understand the fact that i can change the another parameter that is called as vce here i am changing the parameter that is vce that is output voltage if your output voltage is different that is vce voltage if i vary then your this graph will get shifted towards left side or right side respectively so this is general graph from here we have to find out the input resistance in generalized term we will name this as impedance because we are not relating this only with the resistances because we can have your non linear relationships as well coming into the picture when we are in inserting your capacitor and inductor in your whole bjt amplifier circuit now considering the fact that ib and vbe as input voltage and current respectively then i am saying that here i am considering the ce mode configuration of bjt input resistance i am considering taking point a and that will be your instantaneous input resistance that is also called as dynamic input resistance and this is calculated by taking the slope of this tangent and the inverse of slope of this tangent will become your delta vbe divided by delta ib so i will name this as delta vbe divided by delta ib and that is nothing but your input impedance right this also graphically i can get this input impedance by saying that it's nothing but inverse of slope of this tangent drawn at point a where at point a the value of current will be specific value of current i can term this as icq and the voltage will become vbq right we will learn that q factor later on but right now understand the fact that for input characteristics we are getting the exponential nature of the current now coming at the output characteristics Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, coming to the fact that output characteristics of BJT, these output characteristics are for different values of current IB. This is IB1, this is IB2, and this is IB3. So, if we keep the value of IB constant, then I can say that I will get the curve which is this one. If we consider IB1 which is kept constant and considered as your base current, then I can say that this graph will be getting. At a time, getting these three graphs is nearly impossible for its normal operation of output characteristics of BJT. Now these complete output characteristics of BJT is divided into three parts. How these three parts are? For that we will draw so many values of IB and keeping so many values of IB we will be getting the different curve. When we are considering this particular graph, this curve particular graph is showing that your value is increasing linearly right we will see little later how that linear shape is coming right this is going linearly and that's why it is called as linear region this in this particular region i am getting the value of the current which is maximum so here with very very high amount of increment in the current with very very less value of voltage VCE. For less value of voltage VCE current is very very high so if we take the ratio of current and voltage the value of slope will be very very high. So here this is nothing but your saturation region where your voltage is less and current is high compared to voltage current is high don't take that key current is high because in linear region we are getting more current as of here in this particular region so coming to the part of third region that is nothing but where even if i am improving the value of voltage vce then also i am not getting the value of current so that's why here in this particular region i can say that it's nothing but cut off region right so we learned three region of operation for output characteristics when question comes into picture region of operation then there are divided into three part one is linear region saturation region and cut off region in cut off region current is low so we can say that current is less right here i can say that voltage is less and here both are moderate with respect to each other okay so far we have discussed about the output characteristics nature that means change of ic with respect to vce for specific values of ib now this is the time to learn what exactly that early voltage this early voltage if we draw a tangent which is this tangent number one this tangent number two and this is tangent number three for this complete curve for ib1 and ib2 and ib3 these tangents are intersecting on x-axis somewhere every time it intersects on x-axis and that particular voltage is called as early voltage we denote it by va right this early effect we will learn little later this is called as early voltage the effect of increment in your vce leads to change in your output current that is collector current that is termed as your early effect and this is calculated mathematically by using this early voltage. This is one very important viva question. What is exactly early effect and how do we do mathematical expression of early effect with early voltage? How we can represent graphically? So if we draw tangent on this output characteristics for various values of IB1, IB2 and IB3, then all these tangent intersect on x-axis 
axis at that point we termed it as that voltage is called as early voltage generally from this particular diagram itself it was actually impossible to draw that tangent otherwise it was coming out of the screen out of this paper because VA value practically is very very high in terms of 50 to 100 volts. Generally we get the value of VCE in the form of 5 volt, 7 volt, 10 volt depending on the value of DC bias potential applied at collector terminal. So this is how the output characteristics that we have learned so far and in the next preceding videos we will learn few conceptual viva questions related to BJTs. Thank you so much for watching this particular video. We will learn more and more ADC and analog electronics along with me along with Ikeda videos. Obviously you will subscribe the channel Ikeda. Thank you so much.